Oh, wow, this is a tall car. This is a very tall car. Now we just have to get into it. So, oh! Oh, look at this! It works now! Oh, wait. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are back with the Discord Speed Challenges, where I take live suggestions from the Discord as I record this episode, and see if I could just build quick interpretations of what you guys put out there. If you want to be a part of these in the future, make sure you join the Discord with the link in the description down below. So let's go ahead and hop on over there and see what kind of suggestions are flowing in as we speak. Well, this might be a fun one to start off with. This is by Seth Tech here. He's asking for the world's tallest car you can possibly make. Now, we might not be able to go to the tallest car we could possibly make, but we'll go for just, let's just go for a really tall car. All right, so I have a pretty flat spot here, which means that I should be able to build a pretty tall car because I'm going to have to build it horizontal first so that it'll be easier. And then we're going to have to tip it on its side and stand it straight up. And then it's going to be way too top heavy to really do anything useful. But that'll be the fun part. But first things first, we're going to need a frame. I'm going to kind of go with this. I'm just going to put these wheels in for reference. These aren't the actual placement of the wheels. Of course, the wheels are going to be way on the ground and the car is going to be way up there. And I think I'm actually going to need it a little bit longer. So that way we have less of a chance of flipping over, which is just a useless endeavor because this thing's going to flip over like crazy. All right, that'll make it just a little bit wider just to increase our odds of having something semi-functional, um, which I don't know why I'm hoping for that at all, to be honest. There we go. All right, now we know where our wheels are going to be. So let's go ahead and uh, build this into like a well here. So this gives us our basic frame of like where things are going to be. So now we just got to fill it in and I'm realizing that um, the hard part with this is actually going to be getting into the car is going to be quite an issue, isn't it? I'm not sure what the best way of doing that is going to be. I decided to, I'm going to make this car a convertible, um, not because I'm lazy and don't want to build the whole back of the roof, but uh, just because I think it'll look cooler. Totally, totally the reason. Not being sarcastic at all either. All right, and I think we have the basic frame of our car, so we're just going to paint this. And then it's going to be the challenge of putting the wheels on it and figuring out how we're going to actually get into the thing after we have it upright. All right, so now we got the body built and the engine is hooked up to the seat. Now we have, I put a seat underneath it just in case we can somehow get into that seat. We can just pop right, oh, pop right out of the car, which will be super useful. But if it's upright, I think it'll be different. Um, so now we actually just, we're going to build the wheels and then we have to build the legs of the wheels that are going to be super, super long. All right, so I'm actually going to build them sideways, and this is, this is what's going to help me make it easier and quicker to build really, really long, is uh, being on the side, I can just move back like this if I need to uh, add some more length to it. So I'm actually going to put suspension way down here on this thing, so this is going to be a little bit ridiculous. All right, we've uh, we've hit the ground. Oh, oh, never mind. Problem solved. Problem solved. I can just lift it up. All right, and then we can keep going. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is going to be too big. This is going to be way too much. How about that? You think that I think I I have a feeling I should probably stop here before it gets too late. Um, this is gonna be this is gonna turn into way too much of an ordeal. Remember, this is quick builds. This is a quick builds. Let's not spend too much time on it. All right, so now what we need to do we have to actually weld this thing on its side. There we go. All right, and now we need to go down to the end of one of these. Oh no! I just realized I'm gonna have no way of knowing what direction the wheel is facing. Oh, this is going to be like a guess weld, and I know I'm going to get it wrong. I'm just going to weld it, and the worst case scenario, I just go down to the end of the wheels, and uh, I just have to stop it there. All right, so we'll just weld this right here. I still don't know what direction the wheel's facing because the bearing is loose right now. All right, and then we're just going to weld this one onto the other side. All right, all the wheels are now welded on, so I'm just going to... Uh, oh, now what I need to do is put this thing on a lift so I can see what direction the wheels are actually facing. All right, here we go. Oh, this is... Oh, that is terrible. We have one successful wheel. This wheel right here is actually in the right position. These wheels, however, are not. But that shouldn't be too much of an issue. All right, so these are the front. So these have to be steering. All right, there we go. And then I could take the steering off of these ones. All right, and I think I'm going to make this thing front wheel drive only is going to be our best bet to not flipping over. But first, let's hook up the steering. All right, there's one wheel. And then... <laughs> It's like a, it's like a, a marathon just to hook up these connections. And I think I have to reverse these. All right, and then to the engine. Okay, so now all that's left to do is to just spawn this thing upright. 
And I think that we're going to have to weld it. So I think if I just do this, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is a tall car. This is a very tall car. Now we just have to get into it. I think the only method to get into this thing is I'm going to have to fly myself up there. All right, here we go. Look at how tall this thing is. Oh, there it is. All right. So I guess I'll just uh, leave this thing up here. Whoop. We made it. All right, so now, look at <laughs> Now for the moment of truth. All right, turning right, turning left, it works. Look at how big this thing is. All right, can we go forward? I've got the gas going. I can't tell if the wheels are okay. Okay, I think even though the arrows are pointing in the right direction here, we're gonna have to take this thing back down with us. I think even though the arrows are pointing in the right direction, I think one of the bearings got reversed. So I think this one's going correct, and I think this one actually needs to face that way. All right, let's see if that makes a difference. All right, we're back in. Okay, now, moment of truth. Can we go fo- Oh! <gasps> it's working! It's actually working! Oh, are we falling back? It feels like we're falling back. Um... Okay, our, our hovercraft is actually going to land on us in a second here. Alright, you know what I think I need? I think I need weight in the front. Let's get some metal. This is going to help us, I promise. In order to make this thing go, we need our front wheels to stay in contact with the ground. So we're going to have to do a little bit of this. Uh-oh, we're just falling, aren't we? Oh, and this thing is not helping. This thing is not helping. Get out of here. Get, get out of here. A little bit up. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're still falling. There's nothing I can do. No! Oh, no. Let's go. Oh, no. Now, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. This is going to be really hard to uh, keep this thing from not flipping over. But I want to try to at least get some progress. We're going to put a lot more weight in the front right there. All right. I know it probably looks weird, but trust me on this one. Oops! Oops! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh, that's not good. Oh, that is not good. <laughs> okay, uh, try it again. All right, we're back in. Let's see if this metal... Oh, no, go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward. We're tipping forward. This is good. This is actually good. We're going. It's actually working. Guys, it's working. Oh, don't turn. Don't turn. I think the metal has made a huge difference, and not only did I add metal, but I also stiffened the back suspension up a lot, so we'll be less likely to bend backwards. But if you take a look, uh, we're not going very fast, but we're going. And I think that's because as we go forward, it wants us to tilt back. Like, if we go backwards, oh, this is how we do it. We go backwards, so we tilt forward, and then we wait for ourselves to start falling forward, and now we go forward. Oh, oh, did I wait too long? I think I might have waited too long. Look, it's working! It's working! I think I waited too long, though. I don't think we're recovering from it. No, no. Ooh, ooh, that was a rough, that was a rough landing. You know what? I think we spent too much time on this creation. It's been fun, but we have to move on to other suggestions. We're not going to have time for that many for this episode. Okay, so I'm seeing a couple of requests for this, and uh, I think it's kind of a cool idea. It's kind of topical, it's kind of current, and uh, that is Falcon Heavy. Wolfie Paw has said it, and there's a couple of other people that have said it, but uh, I can't find them right now. So I saw it a couple times, so it seems like that's something that you guys might be interested in. So let's do a miniature scale Falcon Heavy rocket ship. All right, and when I say miniature scale, I mean like actually miniature scale. Each one of, there's three rockets I think on it. So each one of those rockets is pretty much gonna be the width of an actual scrap mechanic thruster here. All right, so first we need to build, look, um, I have an image up on my other monitor right now and it looks like it's got, it's got two rockets on the side and then one center bigger rocket or taller uh, rocket that's carrying the payload, I assume. And um, so we're just gonna build the side rockets first. And I'm actually going to put two sets of thrusters in e each one. So we have one thruster right at the bottom here. And I'm going to put another one right up here. And to make it look slightly more realistic, we're just going to add rounded edges to each, uh, each corner. So that way it's not just a block. All right, there we go. So we have one rocket. 
And I'm just going to paint the whole thing white and duplicate it um, twice. Oh, yeah, I'm going to duplicate it twice, and then we'll just build off of it for the center rocket. All right, we have the beginnings of the Falcon Heavy. Now we just need to extend this middle one and then give it like more of like a bulbous um, uh, top. All right, here we are. We have a mini Falcon Heavy. Now we just have to hook up a switch to activate all of the thrusters. And I actually have a seat in there. Can we get in from up? Oh, yes. We can just cut a hole right in there. Oh, and we cannot stay in there, apparently. We're going to put switches right here. We're going to keep the weight even by putting multiple switches like that. Only one of them is going to be hooked up to the seat. And then up to all of the thrusters, which I have not. I forgot to put them on max power. Badge grab, man. Badge grab, man. Max power only. All right, and here it is, the maiden voyage of the mini Falcon Heavy and Scry mechanic, and it turns out I can actually get into the seat from right up here. All right, so I have that little button right there. That should be the button that makes everything happen. Maybe we can even reach the heights of the tallest car in this world. All right, we're going to have liftoff in three, two, one. Hit! Oh, it's working. It's working. It's not quite even for wait wait it's kind of working it's working it's actually going pretty straight i'm actually surprised we're gonna hit the skybox oh, oh we hit the skybox it's a good thing earth doesn't have a skybox huh all right well now we're gonna go straight back down to the ground oh we're going way too fast oh no oh okay i was afraid we we're gonna go through the ground there but that wasn't too bad all right let's see um where's our car is it this way i don't have any control over this thing I don't know where we came from. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll find our way back eventually. Let's continue from here. Oh, this is actually an interesting uh, request. This is by Light... Uh, Lighted Leper. So he asked, he's asking me to build the motorcycle that I built in Trailmakers. And when I say motorcycle, I mean like motorcycle. And uh, that'd be interesting to see how the motorcycle that I built in Trailmakers works in Scram Mechanic to see how the physics compares. So if you're not familiar with the Trailmakers motorcycle, go ahead and check out the new Trailmakers series that I've started in the past uh, week or so. And don't worry if you're not familiar with that motorcycle, you're going to be because I'm going to build pretty much the same thing here in Scram Mechanic. And the good thing about that is it's a quick build. It is a total quick build as well. All right, so first we're just going to need a seat. And um, actually, it can't be a motorcycle seat, which is interesting enough because I need it to be an even width. All right, so we start off super simple with a seat on a base like this. And interesting enough, uh, Trailmakers ha has something that Scrap Mechanic doesn't, which is a hinge. And that's what they use for steering in Trailmakers is hinges instead of bearings. So we're gonna have to convert that into a bearing steering mechanism instead. But then what we have to do is, uh, well, first let's make this, let's make the steering mechanism. So in order to do that, uh, it's going to be off center, but it was in Trailmakers at first too, until we got uh, the double wide hinge. So we're actually going to use the pipe pieces because it'll make uh, less chances for collisions to happen. So this is going to be our steering bearing. And then here is where we're going to have our front wheels. And I think I'll use the small wheels because the wheels that I was using in Trailmakers were also pretty small. I'll leave a little room for an engine back here. And then we do not need steering in the back. Just in the front should be good enough. All right, and this is it. This is our this is our motorcycle. This is pretty much what we had in Trailmakers. Let's see if this works as well as it does in Trailmakers. I was surprised it worked in Trailmakers at all. Oops, I forgot to put a little bit of protection in the front here. All right, so we're going to put this on not very powerful at first because this doesn't weigh virtually anything. All right, now let's see if it works. We can go forward. Oh, the steering is reversed. Okay, there we go. And uh, it looks like trail makers. Oh, it's kind of working. It's actually still. Oh, it. Huh. It definitely. It, it, it's more consistently. It gets more consistent traction in trail makers than it does here for sure. This one seems to get stuck a little bit easier. But it's kind of working. Turning is definitely much more difficult. But we can we can go. This is if anything, this is like this is a stupid vehicle. Like this qualifies as a stupid vehicle. It definitely gets you from one place to another, and uh, the way it does it is oh, not very efficient, but it is doable. I should bring back the stupid vehicle series. What do you guys think? I just need ideas for stupid vehicles. Is the thing I kind of like. I made a lot of stupid vehicles. If you're not familiar with that series, you're definitely gonna want to check that out. Just type in Scrapman stupid vehicles. All right, we're gonna call this a success. I think we I think we uh, mission accomplished this. 
All right, I think I got time for one more. So let's see what we're going to do for the end of the episode. All right, we're going to end off with a bang for this last one because I have an idea in, my, in mind that is pretty interesting based off of what Aralyn says here, which is to build a fan that blows itself in the other direction, which I'm assuming he means direction. So let's hop back at the game here, and um, I'm imagining something similar to like a hovercraft, and we're going to need some flat land. Oh, here's some flat land over here. Actually, we can just use this little track right here. All right, so I'm imagining something like a hovercraft with the fan in the back, but the fan is going to be made of thrusters that also rotate. So it's going to be, it, it's going to do the job, but uh, if, given the lack of aerodynamics in scrap mechanic, we can't actually use a real fan that blows itself in the opposite direction. So we got to put thrusters on it. And I'm going to make this thing have no wheels. I'm just going to have this thing drag itself across the ground. And it's probably going to want to flip over. So I'm going to make it uh, extra long. That way it's not going to flip itself over with a thrust in the back. Alrighty, already for this. This is where the fan is going to be. We're going to put that there. And uh, this is going to be exciting. Alright, so here is the basics of the actual fan. And uh, this is kind of ridiculous. I had to put a lot of bearings on it because the thrusters do not have a center point. So I actually had to rotate them 45 degrees to create a center point in order to line them up with the fan blades. All right, so now all that's left is to put a seat on it and uh, an engine. I'm gonna hook the engine up to the fan. I'm gonna put that on max power. We're gonna hook the seat up to all of the thrusters. And also, I gave myself some steering here. So now we should have a fan that pushes itself in the opposite direction. So let's see. Let's check. Let's check. Uh, make sure things are working. So if I want to turn to the right, uh, that is the left. So we're going to have to reverse this. All right. So there we go. All right. So I'm just going to try to go straight at first. We're going to see how this goes. Fan hover boat thing craft. All right. And. Okay. This is good. This is good. It's not too powerful yet, but I haven't turned any of the thrusters up. But so far, it's working exactly as planned. So that is a good sign. Oh, okay. Turning is terrible. If I turn, I want to tip myself over pretty bad. So turning is probably not going to work very well. But let's go ahead and turn um, the outside thrusters up to max. And this should give us a lot more boost. All right. And here we go. Oh, there it is. See, I told you it was going to want to flip forward. I told you it was going to want to flip forward. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 nope, nope. Stay steady. Stay steady. Stay steady. Oh, this is terrible. Why does it keep turning to the left? All right, let's turn. Turn. All right, here we go. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Come on. Oh, it does not want to stay flat. That's for sure. Oh, I wonder. I have an idea. I have an idea. We're going to try and make this work just a little bit better. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to put a bunch of metal on the back. And hopefully it can weigh it down just a little bit. All right, let's see if this makes a difference. I'm hoping it will. All right, and go. It's still pretty heavy. It is still pretty heavy, but it's working a little bit better. Oh, wait, are those conflicting? I think those... Yep, all right, we need, we need to get rid of one row of this because there's a, there's a collision conflict with the fan. All right, that should work smoother. Oh, look at that, much smoother. All right, still a little bit of conflict. No, let's just get rid of this entire top row. All right, let's see if this is any better. And go. 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 All right, it seems it needs a little bit more power now. So I'm kind of like undoing some of the work I just did. But you, you, you got to be happy medium. So, oh, oh, look at this. It works now. Oh, wait, wait. The turning isn't working anymore. Oh, it is. Okay. I think once it gets up to a certain speed. Oh, 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 oh. I think once it gets up to a certain speed, uh, the force of the, of the rotation of the blades actually makes the turning a little bit more difficult. But I think we can actually, like, even if we go upside down, I'm pretty sure that we can just... Oh, I was wrong. I was very wrong. Oh, wait, no, I wasn't. Yes, we can just flip ourselves back over. I knew it. Okay, all right, ready, and go. Go, 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 go. This thing is terrible. This thing is absolutely terrible. Oh, there's no reverse either. There is no reverse. Can we get out of this? Yes. Yeah, uh, no, yes. Uh, I have eight thrusters on full power right now just to drag myself slowly across the ground here. Oh. Oh, I think we broke it. I think, yeah, that's facing the complete... Oh, oh, what is happening here? What is happening here? 
Okay. I mean, we haven't gotten stuck yet. I'm actually kind of impressed. All right, well, leave a like for the, uh, the unstuckable fan stupid vehicle. I think we made another stupid vehicle. I think that's what this one is, too. I think we've accidentally, unintentionally, inadvertently made two stupid vehicles for this episode. I'm kind of proud of that. Well, let me know which one of these creations was your favorite. Thank you so much for participating and suggesting these crazy ideas. And I'm glad that um, for the most part, they actually kind of worked out. So just a reminder, if you want to be a part of these in the future, and also you just want to meet other people that are part of the Scrapper community, join the Scrapyard with the Discord link down in the description below. I look forward to seeing you guys there. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.